Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present, filling all things, treasury, blessings, giver of life, come and dwell within us, cleanse and false and save our souls with gracious Lord. Glory to God in the highest, to his people on earth, peace and goodwill. Glory be to God in the highest, and to his people on earth, peace and goodwill. O Lord, you will open my lips, and my lips, and my mouth. Blessed is our God always, now, and forever and ever. May the Lord direct your steps. May the Lord remember you always in his kingdom, now and always, and forever and ever. Blessed the kingdom of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious of all understanding, merciful without the limits, loving us all beyond expression, look with compassion on us and on this holy church master and show us in those who pray with us the riches your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is your glory, honor, worship, now and ever, and forever.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, our Master and God, who has dubbed shoulders and arms and angels, archangel for the service of the client. Let our entrance be an entrance of holy angels and it's good celebrating us for two fathers, son, and holy spirit as well, going on in worship of the every prayer. Let our entrance be Blessed is the entrance for holy ones, always, now, and ever in prayer. Amen. Be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ, O Son of God, born of the Virgin. Say what to For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever.
Let us be attentive. Wisdom, be attentive. In the churches, bless God, the Lord from the wellspring of Israel. God is wondrous in his saints, the God of Israel, the God of Israel. Wisdom, a reading from the epistle of St. James. Let us be attentive. Does a spring gush forth fresh water and fowl from the same outlet? A fig tree cannot produce olives or a grapevine figs. No more can a brackish source yield fresh water. If one of you is wise and understanding, let him show this in practice through him a humility filled with good sense. Should you instead nurse bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, at least refrain from arrogant and false claims against the truth. Wisdom like this does not come from above. It is earthbound, a kind of animal, even devilish cunning. Where there are jealousy and strife, there also are inconsistency and all kinds of vile behavior. Wisdom from above, by contrast, is first of all innocent deeds. It is also peaceable, lenient, rich in sympathy, and the kindly deeds that are its fruits impartial and sincere. The harvest of justice is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do the conflicts and the disputes among you originate? It is not your inner cravings that make war within your members. What you desire you do not obtain and so you resort to murder. You envy, and you cannot acquire, so you quarrel and fight. You do not obtain because you do not ask. You ask and you do not receive because you ask wrongly, with a view to squandering what you receive on your pleasures. O you unfaithful ones, you are not aware that love of the world is enmity to God. A man is marked out as God's enemy if he chooses to be the world's friend. Do you suppose it is to no purpose that scripture says the spirit has implanted in us tends towards jealousy? Yet he bestows a greater gift for the sake of which it is written, God resists the proud, but bestows his favor on the lowly. Peace be with you, reader. Wisdom, be attentive. O Lord, remember David and all the hardships he endured. Hallelujah. 
Most Reverend Bishop, bless the proclaimer of the gospel of the Holy Apostle and Evangelist, Mark. May God, through the prayers of the Holy Glorious, Illustrious Apostle and Evangelist, Mark, grant that you proclaim the word with great power for the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. The Lord said to his disciples, put your trust in God. I solemnly assure you, whoever says this to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and has no inner doubts, but believes that what he says will happen, shall have it done for him. I give you my word, if you are ready to believe, that you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. It shall be done for you. When you stand to pray, forgive anyone against whom you have a grievance so that your heavenly spirit may in turn forgive you your whore faults. Christ is born. Christos was died, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm very uh, uh, honored to be here with you this evening to pray with you on perhaps the your last liturgy of 2015. And uh, I thank Father Miron and also his wife and son for their hospitality, as myself and Father Modic. Father Modic was his. Uh, you've, you've seen him before, but he was his parishioner back in Slovakia, and now he's helping me up in Canada. So I'm uh, honored to be here with you tonight, and uh, in today's scripture readings, we hear a bit about wisdom, we hear uh, about trust, and we especially hear about the Lord calling us uh, to forgive. And those are, those are good things as we kind of you know, count the end of the year. How do, we, how do we look at wisdom? You know, we say it often during the liturgy. You know, wisdom, be attentive uh, a number of times. And the wisdom we're talking about is God's wisdom. A wisdom that, that comes to us by, by dint of the fact that we have received, we have received uh, Christ in our midst. That uh, as we have celebrated God among us, especially during these Christmas time. We are, we are really uh, honored and we see that little infant in the, in the stable in Bethlehem, the one who will come uh, eventually to redeem and sanctify all of us. Interestingly enough, you know, when we, we do this Christmas greeting, Christ is born. We say is, not was. Because Christ is always with us. Christ does not desert us. You know, we might desert him, but he will, he will always be, uh, you know, knocking at the doors, knocking at the doors of our, our souls, knocking at the doors of our lives, uh, calling us, calling us back home. And, you know, during this uh, past year, the Holy Father has told us to, to honor consecrated life. And he's also overlapped it with uh, this year of mercy. Uh, and, and he's been insistent that we look at that. And just think again. How many times uh, during the liturgy uh, we say, Lord, have mercy? How many times in the prayers of the priest and the deacon uh, we implore for the Lord's mercy? And that's, that's, again, 
God bestowing his love on us. You know, sometimes we think uh, that we love God. We never, we never uh, beat God to the punch. God first loves each and every one of us. God is there for each and every one of us, and especially uh, at Christmas time. You know, we had, uh, we were talking about your, your sign on, on one of the highways as we came, and the, the icon of the, of the Lord, the Pantocrator, which you have in the ceiling, is the one you have. And, you know, I, I was kind of saying, why, why didn't you have, uh, I told the Father of I said, why didn't you have one of the nativity? You know, this is Christmas time. And he said, no. The, the guy who was kind of guiding him says, you have to do something different. You have to think different. And it is. You know, as much as we like to talk about baby Jesus and infant Jesus, we really have to think about the one who ultimately laid down his life for us and rose from the dead. And so, you know what I told him? I said, maybe for Easter you should have a, uh, a, uh, an icon of the nativity and say, he suffered and died and rose for each and every one of us. But that's, that's part, of, part of the way of looking at Christ. You know, we, we have to look at him as the one who leads us, leads us to the Father. And how does he do that? He tells us in today's gospel, unless you forgive, unless you forgive from your heart, uh, you know, the apostles, the apostles in just in the earlier part of St. Mark's Gospel, um, Jesus has, is walking and he sees this uh, fig tree that's uh, full of leaves, but it has no fruit on it. And he curses it. He says, don't you ever bear fruit again. And later on, just before today's reading, Peter notices it. And that's where Jesus tells him, if you have trust in God, you know, you can ask this mountain to move and it'll move. And if you, if you trust in God, you're going to find your way to the Father. And finally, of course, he leaves us with that last message of forgiveness, you know, to, to forgive, you know. And sometimes it's good, especially at the end of the year, as we make up our list, maybe make some resolutions for this new year, uh, to look at how well, how well I did or didn't forgive. And ask the Lord for, for that grace to, to forgive. To pray for someone perhaps you're not getting along with. Uh, to pray for someone who, who needs your prayer, you know, to, to reach out that way. That's, that's way, the way we, we build a Christian community. That's the way we uh, free ourselves from uh, the bondages, the sin that we, we carry in our, ourselves, in our bodies. So today as we come to the end, you know, we're at the end of the Christmas cycle. Let us, let us ask the one who was born in Bethlehem in that cave to once again renew us, and especially as we enter into this year of forgiveness uh, or mercy, let us ask the Lord to abundantly shower your community. And you're celebrating your uh, centennial, your hundred years. Uh, ask the Lord to, to really bless, bless you as, you as you celebrate this milestone in your parish's existence. So let us continue the liturgy, let us pray for one another, and most especially, uh, to have that welcoming and open heart as we enter into the year of 2016. Christ is born. Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop John, for our God-loving Bishop John, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for all our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ.
Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy, and for all Christians of the true faith. For you are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Set aside all those cares. Let us mystically represent the chairman and sing the Christ only him who, by creating, you know, set aside all those cares. God, remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our God, loving Bishop John, always, now, and ever, and forever. Our loving Bishop John, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, now, and ever, and forever. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our Holy Father, Francis the Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, uh, the entire priestly, diaconal, and monastic orders, our nation under God, the noble and ever-remembered founders and benefactors of this holy church, and all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. Brothers and fellow consulbrants, pray for me, my consulbrants. May the Spirit Himself consulbrate with us all the days of our lives. May the Lord God remember you in His kingdom, now and ever and forever. For the precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. God Almighty, who alone are holy and receive the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart, 
Accept also the prayer of us sinners. Bring us to your holy altar. Enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the people's failings. Make us worthy to find favor in your sight that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you and the good spirit of your grace may rest on us and on these gifts here present and on all your people. Grant us through the mercies of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed together with your all holy good and life creating spirit now and ever and forever. Peace be to all. Let us love one another so that with one mind we may profess. The doors, the doors, in wisdom, let us be attentive. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive to offer the holy anaphora in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. 
For you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same. You and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of non-existence into being, and again raised us up when we had fallen, and left nothing undone that you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and do not know for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged and many-eyed, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn. We also cry out with these blessed powers, O loving and kind Master, and say, Holy are you and all holy, you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy, and magnificent is your glory. You so love your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan on our behalf. And on the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, <coughs> he took bread into his holy, all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks, and blessed, sanctified, broke, gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Remembering therefore the saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory. Offering you your own, from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we Moreover, we offer to you the spiritual and unbloody sacrifice, and we implore, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts lying before us. Reverend, Reverend Bishop, bless the Holy Dead. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Reverend Bishop, bless the Holy Dead. And that which is in his chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Reverend Bishop, bless the Holy Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That for those who partake of them, they may bring about a spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, and not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you the spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary.
Among the first, O Lord, remember our Father Francis Poporum, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God loving Bishop John, our God loving Bishop John, preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of truth. Remember, O Lord, the city in which we dwell and every city and community and the faithful living in them. Remember, O Lord, those who travel by sea, air, and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and those who perform good deeds in your holy churches and those who remember the poor upon all of us and on your mercies. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord have For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for unity in the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. And to you, O Master, who love us all, we commit our whole life and hope, and we implore, pray, and entreat you, make us worthy to partake with the clear conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from the sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and make us worthy, O Master, that we may, with confidence and without condemnation, dare call you Father, the God of heaven, and say... For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. to the Lord. We thank you, o Ma we give you thanks, O invisible King, for by your measurable power. You have fashioned all things and the greatest of mercy of, have brought all things of non existence into being. Look down from heaven, Master. Upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth the good of all the paths that lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, cure those who are sick of physical souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercy, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, 
together with your all holy, good and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us be attentive. Holy gifts to holy people. Broken and distributed as the Lamb of God. Broken but never divided, ever eaten yet ever consumed. Sanctifying those who partake thereof. For your holy ones, always, now, and ever, and forever. You can approach. Deacon Eugene, we the precious body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. We make forgiveness of the sins and life everlasting. Amen. So, good God, we see the we see the precious body of our Lord God. Receives the precious body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, mission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, I believe and profess that the world to save sinners. Set me today, O God. Reveal your mystery to your enemies. Who will I give you a kiss as did Judas? into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you should be in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, come into your kingdom. Be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. And also believe and profess how to receive is truly your most precious body, life-giving blood. So I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins. Amen. Approach with the fear of God and with faith.
Save, O oh God, your people, and bless your inheritance. Be exalted above the heavens, Be exalted above the heavens, O God, and let your glory be over all heavens. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, and let your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God always, now and ever and forever. Now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, life-giving and creating mystery and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. We thank you, O Master, benefactor of our souls who love us all, that this day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries through the prayers and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. Make straight our path, confirm us in our fear of you, guard our life and safeguard our steps. For you are our sanctification and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forward in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctify those who trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance, preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify and be in return by the and power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people, for all generous giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights, and we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness always now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory be to you, O Christ our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Christ, our true God, who for our salvation was born in a cave in Bethlehem of Judea and lay in a manger, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother and of our holy father, John Chrysostom, the Archbishop of Constantinople, through prayers of all the saints, especially Saint Nicholas, for Christ is good and loves us all. Two of us, Johns, that were mentioned, Bishop Kudrick is from Pennsylvania, and I'm from the next state west. I'm from Indiana originally. So, uh, again, thank you. The choir was beautiful, very prayerful, and uh, thank you all for taking time to uh, pray on they say spur of the moment, and you did a, a great job. So may God grant to your people here present peace, health, and happiness for many years. Amen. 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 Amen.